British politicians have a plan to train young men in schools to be alternative influencer role models to controversial anti-feminist figure Andrew Tate. But it's likely doomed to fail, say experts. Tate is one of the major characters in the world known as the Manosphere, with 8.8 .8 million followers on X. He's also a widely controversial individual, with critics labeling him sexist and dangerous. He is currently under house arrest in Romania on rape and human trafficking charges, which he has denied. But he still has an army of young male fans who look up to him as the GOAT, greatest of all time. They see him as the ultimate alpha male and an inspirational businessman. He's become an all-encompassing figure for young men who feel attacked by modern society and believe they have been left behind. Bridget Philipson, a Labour MP in the UK, recently told The Guardian that the party wants to combat sexism by training up young men to be a powerful counterbalance to Tate and some of the negativity that young men might be exposed to online. The idea is that these male mentors would teach pupils to question videos they see online by figures such as Tate. While the idea is a valuable one, it doesn't consider how much power Tate and other creators in this world truly hold, experts claim. Cindy Marie Jenkins, a writer and educator, told by that Tate's influence is shown when other online creators who run podcasts or YouTube channels throw out sexist slurs or make comments similar to Tate's. This slowly wears down young viewers, to believe these are acceptable because their favorite YouTubers say so. Children and teenagers look to these YouTubers, etc., as their celebrities, as their role models, she said. Thus, the politicians must develop a multi-pronged approach to combat Tate that goes beyond the classroom. The Manosphere movement dates back to around 2013 when a community of men on Reddit came up with the idea of the Red Pill, and how taking it would make them wake up to the supposed harmful realities of modern feminism. Since then, the beliefs have spun out in many different directions, including incels, or involuntarily celibates, who condemn women for not sleeping with them and blame them for all their shortcomings. The impact ranges from misdirected anger toward the opposite sex in forums, and trolling and harassing them online, to more extreme acts of violence, including domestic violence and mass shootings. Liking Manosphere creators doesn't directly mean someone will be violent toward women. However, some experts have linked the popularity of men's rights activists with a risk to women's safety. Experts have expressed worry that the influence of Tate and other Manosphere creators is deeply ingrained. Teachers previously told Business Insider that children in their classrooms as young as 11 see Tate as their god, idolizing him and quoting his mantras such as how men should have absolute control over women.